Number 10, Martha Mansfield. While taking a break in between takes of filming The Warrens of Virginia, this young actress tragically died. She was sitting in a car in her costume when a passerby who was trying to light a cigarette flicked a burning match into the car. The flame caught her dress, causing Martha severe burns. Sadly, the 24-year-old died in the hospital the next day from burns and bacteria in her blood. Number 9, Tyrone Powers. Tyrone Powers suffered a massive heart attack on set during the fencing scene while filming Solomon and Sheba. Before accepting the role in the movie, his wife asked him to slow down because she was scared for his health, but he pushed ahead with the movie. After suffering a heart attack, he died on his way to the hospital at the age of only 44. Tyrone is best remembered as one of the finest swordsmen in Hollywood. Number 8. Red Fox during a break for rehearsals for The Royal Family, this 68-year-old actor suffered a heart attack on the set. Fox was about to have been interviewed when he grabbed a chair and fell to the floor. The interviewer leaned down to Fox as he was on the ground when he said, Get my wife. This famous American comedian died in the hospital that same evening. Number 7. Roy Kinnear Kinnear fell from a horse during the making of The Return of the Musketeers in Toledo, Spain. The 54-year-old British actor sustained a broken pelvis and was taken to a hospital in Madrid. Sadly, the following day, Kinnear died from a heart attack. The director, Richard Lester, was deeply affected by Kinnear's death and shortly after quit his own film career. Also, Kinnear's family demanded an official investigation into the level of medical care he had received in Spain. Number 6. John Ritter John Ritter fell ill while filming 8 Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter and he began sweating, vomiting, and complained of having chest pains. He was taken across the street to the Providence St. Joseph Medical Center where they treated him for a heart attack. His condition even worsened. Later, Ritter died during surgery to repair the dissection before his 55th birthday. Number 5. Clark Gable Gable's physically demanding role in The Misfits contributed to his sudden death soon after filming was completed. To get into shape for The Misfits, he dropped a lot of weight, which exhausted his body. Ten days after suffering a severe heart attack, Gable died at the age of 59. Gable is best known as an American film actor, often referred to as the King of Hollywood, or just simply as the King. Number 4. Gene Harlow while shooting Saratoga, Harlow began to complain about illness. Her symptoms, which were fatigue, nausea, water weight, and abdominal pain, didn't seem very serious to her doctor, so she continued working on the movie. While filming a scene, she said that she could not see properly and that she didn't feel well. That evening, Harlow was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital in Los Angeles, where she slipped into a coma. She died in the hospital the next day at the age of 26, suffering the end stages of kidney failure. Number 3. Vic Morrow Vic Morrow was killed at the age of 53 along with two child actors while filming Twilight Zone the movie. They were performing in a scene in which their characters attempt to escape from a pursuing U.S. Army helicopter out of a deserted Vietnamese village. The helicopter was hovering at about 25 feet above them when pyrotechnic explosions damaged it and caused it to crash on top of them, killing all three instantly. Number 2. John Eric Hexum John Eric Hexum died from a gunshot wound to the head on the set of the CBS Adventure series Cover Up. Hexum was sleeping during delays in filming when they told him there would be more delays. He jokingly picked up a 44 Magnum pistol loaded with blanks to lighten the mood and pulled the trigger. The blast impact fractured his skull, which drove a bone fragment into his brain, causing massive bleeding. Six days after the accident, Hexum was declared dead. Number 1. Brandon Lee Bruce Lee's son Brandon Lee died of a gunshot wound at the age of 28 after an accidental shooting on the set of The Crow. In the scene in which Lee was accidentally shot, his character walks into his apartment and discovers his fiance being beaten and raped by thugs. Tragically, the handgun used in that scene contained a fragment of a real bullet that was propelled out by the force, hitting Lee in the abdomen and died later that day. 